Hey guys, Proper English here. I've been getting a few questions about how you can use the comparator block in your builds, and I thought that it would be useful if I did a tutorial on how to think with the comparator. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to go through how to build a very simple little comparator mechanism where you use the comparators to detect when a specific song is playing in the jukebox. Well, it's not this song because our output isn't on. Let's try another one. I like this one. It's not this one. Let's try one more. Guess it was that one. The jukebox circuit is a good example of how to think with comparators because we're going to use both the compare and the subtract function of the comparator block to figure out what disk is in this jukebox. So the first thing we do is set up a comparator coming out of the jukebox that allows us to detect the signal strength coming from the jukebox. And so this desk has a signal strength of eight. Each desk has its own unique signal strength. And we're going to use that information to figure out what desk is in the jukebox. And so we want to detect a specific desk. First, we're going to compare the signal coming from the jukebox to the signal that we want to be coming from the jukebox. So in this case, we're going to compare to eight, okay? So all we need to do is hook up a comparator over here, leave the comparator set to compare. We don't want it subtracting right now. And then we're going to set up a hopper here with a comparator coming out and going into the B input. Now we're going to set up this hopper so that we're getting a signal strength of eight. And to do that, this should be enough. And so now let's add one more comparator over here and throw down some redstone so we can get an output. And now when I put my correct disk in, the output lights up and it looks good. If we have a disk that is not strong enough, so this disk has a signal strength of one, you can see the output over here is pretty weak. It's not strong enough to go through the comparator when we've got this B input set to eight, and so our output is off. But there's one other situation here. What if the signal coming from the jukebox is stronger than eight? Well, if that happens, we get an output over here. So we need to set up a little bit more circuitry to figure out when the signal strength is stronger than we want it to be. So let's do that. We can detect if the signal coming from the jukebox is greater than eight by subtracting eight from it. That way, if the signal is too strong, we know it's the wrong disk. There'll be some signal left over coming through the subtractor and we can use it to shut the circuit off. And so what we're going to do is hook up some redstone over here with a subtractor coming out of it so that the jukebox output goes into this subtractor through the A input. Then we're going to hook up a hopper over here with another comparator and send that into the B input of our subtractor. Set this so that it subtracts eight if you want to detect this desk. And so now we're subtracting eight from the jukebox output. And if the jukebox is sending a stronger signal than the one we're getting over here, we want to shut the circuit off. We can do that by setting this comparator to subtract and using a repeater to subtract a full 15 signal strength from whatever signal is coming through over here that ensures that if there's any signal coming out of this subtractor, we shut the output off because it's the wrong disk. And so let's try this out. We'll start by throwing the correct disk in. And you can see that the output's on, looks good. If the signal is too weak, the output is off. And now our third situation, when the signal is too strong, the output is off. This works perfectly. So hopefully going through this circuit has given you an idea of how you can use comparators, both the compare and the subtract function of comparators in your own circuits. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.